Bhutan is really different. There is a history that you cannot copy. So that makes Bhutan really special. If you ask Bhutanese why guests come, the magic is in the air. It is not so easy to explain. How do you define magic? The name says everything. Bhutan Spirit Sanctuary. You come to the spirit of Bhutan. We are not a hotel. We are not a resort. The sanctuary should give a guest this feeling it is a different place. I found this place and it was opposite the monasteries, looking after us, praying in our direction. A monastery is something symbolic. Things happen to you for a reason and I think once you see the monastery you understand. The more you have, the more you need. We are just human beings and we have our weaknesses and we like to have more and more. This drive brings us away from what we really need and what is our inner need. That is where I believe the Bhutanese had a big advantage. Family life, being social, being with friends, that was all. So happiness is easy. Our team is open-minded, is communicative, create an environment to have time to sit down and to make decisions and to breathe and to feel I get quietness so that people can start listening to themselves. You start taking the people from their feeling and then open up with the traditional doctors, your treatments, the time you have, everybody gets something. So nature is above everything. In the law, 60% of Bhutan has to be green. And that makes Bhutan surely unique. And this place is one of the last places we still get a clean air. What we try to do is bring inner sustainability. Once you have that, you don't have to tell anything about how to deal with the nature, because you carry it. I appreciate very much being in the group of the small luxury hotels. There is an awareness of everything that happens. I'm part of something that is different. Well-being is all about what the soul needs. And the soul needs beauty, culture, nature. It needs balance.